Hi guys, welcome back to Finpact. Ethereum has been up 15% versus Bitcoin ever since Chappella. So what is Chappella? Well, Ethereum had a hard fork known as the Shanghai upgrade. This meant that those that had staked their ETH tokens were now able to withdraw them. Now, many of you guys know that in September, Ethereum moved to a proof of stake consensus mechanism. Now, before, Ethereum used to be a proof of work consensus mechanism. Now, in a proof of work, miners would show that they had skin in the game or capital at risk by expending energy through mining processes, which, as you guys know, is very energy intensive. Now, shifting to proof of stake is a lot more energy efficient. Now, proof of stake involves validators being able to stake Ethereum into a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, the thing is, the staked Ethereum acts like skin in the game. So if they act dishonestly or lazily, then the collateral, so the staked Ethereum, will get destroyed. Essentially, that disincentivizes them from acting inappropriately. The validators are then responsible in checking that new blocks are propagated over the network in a valid manner. Now, the main focus of the Shanghai upgrade was to implement Ethereum's improvement proposal 4895. This is a proposal that helps validators unlock their staked Ethereum, meaning they can withdraw their staked Ethereum. All that Ethereum that they had staked can be withdrawn. Now, the main reason is because validators have staked Ethereum and as they earn rewards into their staked Ethereum pool, they probably want to withdraw that and actually get compensated for staking their Ethereum and validating the blockchain mechanism. And so due to this, Ethereum's price rallied 15% more versus Bitcoin's rally. And validators have now withdrawn $1.21 billion worth of Ethereum from the Ethereum staking smart contract. I mean, if we take a look at the seven day chart, Ethereum has been up 9% compared to only 0.29% for the price of Bitcoin. Now bear in mind, validators have been accruing rewards since around December, 2020. Now there are still around 100,000 validators that are still pending withdrawals. And that's around 598 million worth of Ethereum that is still pending to be withdrawn. Now, the issue is many validators have not actually updated their credentials. And if they try to unstake their Ethereum right now and withdraw, it means that it would be around $596 million worth at today's prices. So they won't be able to pull too much money out of the system unless they update their credentials. And currently there's around 18.5% that have not updated their credentials, aka no withdrawals can be possible yet. Now also bear in mind, not all validators want to withdraw their staked Ethereum. Some of them want to keep it staked. And because a lot of stakers decided to hold on to their Ethereum rewards, the price of Ethereum appreciated around 14.25% in US dollar terms in that period. Now validators can do the following, a partial exit where they withdraw only the excess returns that they made during their period of validation, but they still have a certain amount of ETH, I, I believe 32 Ethereum, that keeps them still a validator. They can also do a full exit where they unstake all of their Ethereum, including the 32 ETH required that needs to be staked to be a validator. When they do a full exit, meaning unstake and withdraw the 32 Ethereum plus any excess rewards that they made, they exit the system completely and they are no longer a validator. Anyway guys, I hope this video helped you guys understand a little bit more of Chappella and the Shanghai upgrade and how it works and how it links to the current Ethereum price rally. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when I release a video as a lot of the information is time sensitive. As you guys know, crypto markets move very quickly. So do the stock markets and pretty much everything today, especially in this internet revolution digital society. Anyway guys, make sure you do your own research because you know I'm not a financial advisor and I don't want you guys to make risky bets or anything like that. So make sure you do your own research. This is purely for entertainment and educational purposes only. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.